Tonight, we're learning new details about a possible overdose death at Louisville Metro Corrections. It's the first since March, and it follows a string of deaths at the jail from this winter, which ultimately led to big changes at Metro Corrections. In December, three people died in the same jail in the same week. Overcrowded and understaffed, the city raised starting salary for officers by 27%. In February, Metro Council voted to launch an investigation into the jail and voted for a no confidence vote in former or now former director Dwayne Clark. Director Clark may be a may be a great person and he may have years of experience. He may not be the only one to blame for staffing shortages that he inherited, but he is the one responsible since 2019 for not aggressively addressing staffing issues. He is the one with over 150 vacancies. He is the one who has not aggressively fought for drugs and paraphernalia from entering the jail. Clark resigned in April and Director Jerry Collins took his place. But then this Friday night, another person died. The night team's Connor Steffen talked with an officer who responded to the alleged overdose and worked through both administrations to see how they're handling this and what, if anything, has changed. It's frustrating uh, to an extent, and it's also, you know, it's just, it's hard to overcome. Inside the Louisville Metro Department of Corrections, understaffed and overpopulated. I mean, it's, it's jail. It, it definitely makes it hard. Another inmate's life lost Friday, marking the ninth overall for the jail since November. We now know the male inmate in his 30s died of a drug overdose from suspected fentanyl use. That's according to Metro Corrections FOP Union President Daniel Johnson. He says first signs something went wrong came around 445 yesterday afternoon in a general population dorm. Uh, the people that were housed in that dorm did not alert us uh, for nearly 20 minutes after it occurred. Johnson says in an attempt to conceal drug use in the dorm, but eventually officers found the inmate. Not breathing, no pulse, just drenched in either sweat or urine, just anything, just head to toe, he's soaked. Responding Officer Sergeant Michelle Sogan administered Narcan and other life-saving measures to no avail. She says several other inmates tested positive for drug use that night. Three others overdosed, but survived after officers took action. We did the best that we could under the circumstances of a staff of four officers patrolling a floor of 425. So even with four people on the floor, it's still incredibly difficult, uh, so it's not like you can stand in one spot and see all around yourself. Those staffing issues aren't confined to just that one corridor. According to the director's daily report, the current population here at LMDC is just over 1,360. That's a surplus of 11 inmates from the design capacity. But Sogan sees staffing issues as an issue that slowly is getting better under the current administration. I haven't seen a no longer employed email in a couple of months, which I mean, it used to be every single day you log on there, no longer employed, no longer employed. And now people are kind of sticking around because we've seen these changes. Though she acknowledges one inmate death is one too many. In Louisville, Connor Stephan, WHAS 11, on your side. And after this recent death, the jail launched its own internal investigation.